I hope you are doing well. I am here for you with first tutorial for GeoGebra. So GeoGebra activities for your Mac classroom. So in this video I am going to show you how to set up uh, one activity for your students and uh, you can monitor your students performance in a live lesson. So let's get started. I hope you have a GeoGebra account or you can sign in with your Google or Gmail ID. On the top right corner, you should see your name or your profile. So if you don't have any applet already in your profile, it's okay. We can add from the resources from GeoGebra because it is open platform. So if you click on resources, and then you can explore or you can search by typing the particular topic so there are many options with us which we can choose because there are more than 1 million free activities or applets prepared by many experts I also contributed so this is my page I have uh, different activities or applets in my profile uh, most of them are mine, but uh, some I have also used from other experts. So I'm going to show you one or two and then we will see how to set up an activity. There's a difference between activities and applets. So in activities, there are questions and there are other types of elements which we can add. Let's say this is uh, one of my uh, factorization activity this is activity it has applet uh, like level wise questions so level 1 level 2 level 3 according to the difficulty and then there are more questions as well for students to answer and in the live lesson you can track which student is working what so we can make copy of this this and then uh, we can see that activity in the profile at anyways just have a look yeah so there are more activities so we can use any or you can search as I said you just need to make a copy of that for example I have L2 quadratic factorization I will take this this is not the activity this is the applet so I'll select the quadratic factorization. You can actually search from the search box or you can uh, choose from your own profile. So this is only applet. So most of the time from GeoGebra you will see applets. So you choose that applet and play with it so that you know what is the content and how students are going to use this. For example, in my it's factorization, so the factors of uh, 90, minus 10 and minus 9. And uh, I prepared this and they are getting feedback, it is correct. So the intention was to practice as many questions as they want and then answer my questions uh, by adding some elements. So whenever they are uh, creating new problem, so you need to go to the three dots and click on edit activity. So the three dots on the right corner. So when you edit this activity, you will see you can edit the, uh, the title page. And then if you scroll down, you will see one option of add element. So when you click on add element, see there are three dots on the top right. You have to use that to add it. And then you come here to add elements. We have many options there are text, GeoGebra file, web page, web link, questions, PDF, images, video. So let's add a text. Okay, and uh, then we will add some questions. So I'm adding a text after playing with the applet or practicing from the applet. Uh, answer the questions given below. Something like that. It's up to you, whatever you want to write. And if you don't, you you may not because you can directly add questions. So let's say I'm writing after playing with the applet, please solve the questions. And there is one option for you to press done. 
so just click on that done once you are done yeah now add element as a question for example question number one uh, because it is on factorization so we'll say factorize or you can give this title uh, with the question number as well question number one factorization or factorize and you can actually enter in math or simple simple words so I'm clicking on insert math to add one math expression let's say x square and uh, minus just think about any question and type x square minus 9x plus 20 yeah let's correct the factors will be 5 and 4 so you can add now answers when you see open and multiple choice it is automatically added when you click on add element questions so multiple choice is the best option because uh, students can choose and you can see who is wrong who is right x plus 5 x minus 5 let's say and the second option I will say maybe it's not correct I'm just uh, giving some random answers here uh, let's say we can we are adding using math insert math x minus 5 x minus 4 yeah so that is the correct answer you can add more answers also you can add multiples also like two answers are correct or not after adding that question you may edit that question or just add one element so copy or edit so copy yeah and then edit yes so question number two change the expression x square minus let's say 11x 12x yeah 12x plus 20 because 10 and 2 will be factors correct so just change the options which are correct or not correct x minus 10 x minus 2 second I'm not changing I'm just leaving it like that so you keep on adding questions so add five or six questions at the end you can even add a PDF file or a link to practice for your students so it's up to you video GeoGebra there are lots of options for you so once you are okay with that you can add let's say there's one open question uh, I'm gonna give factors and uh, students are going to multiply or figure out what the quadratic is so let's say uh, please all right create one quadratic if the factors are or the roots are whatever you want to say create a quadratic if the roots are or the factors are whatever you want to say it's up to you factors are let's say x plus 3 and x plus 2 or minus 2 whatever you want to say right so just open-ended because it's not multiple choice so student will have opportunity to write in their words yeah so once it's done so you save and close and you have to go back to your profile that activity will appear in your profile and then you can see there are questions also look so there are questions now and as a student you can see how you can uh, actually uh, tick or not choose the questions now what you have to do there's an option uh, to create a class so just click on that create class you may rename it if you want otherwise and then you share this link with your students there is another option of creating groups I'll talk about that in next uh, tutorial so let's uh, try as a student I copied the link as student will also uh, follow the link so they have option of signing in or not just I'm writing my name so as soon as a student joined like me myself has joined as uh, sync uh, on the teachers dashboard uh, you will see that yes there's one student in the class 
and if this student will uh, uh, start working you will see in the task overview uh, which student is working on which page it's very similar to the activities what we perform but we can uh, keep on tracking their performances so you can see let's say I'm a student here and I am actually working on the applet first of all I'm entering some factors and I'm checking am I right or not yes I'm correct so I will practice maybe some more questions here as a student and then I will try to answer the questions so yeah you create a new problem and whatever I want to write here it's uh, it, because I'm just playing with the applet so we are providing opportunity for us with to our students to practice to master some skill and then you go back to the questions look now task 2 is question number 1 task 1 was the applet task 2 is the question number 1 task 3 question number 2 task 4 question number 3 on the on teachers dashboard it will appear uh, individually like task 1 task 2 task 3 like that see so as a student I have done one out of one one out of one one out of one all the tasks three tasks are done task 4 I didn't do anything so teacher can click on task 1 and see what that student has done you can pause or uh, resume your class again if you want to discuss let's say task 2 you can see the performance correct answer or uh, wrong answers you can see how many students have given correct answers so it's actually auto graded and see task 4 nobody has done yet so as a student there was nothing but if I write something in the, in the task 4 the same answer your teacher will see look I just entered X see the student sing entered X only as the answer and there are no options available that's why it's just X no right no wrong so please uh, give a give a try and uh, actually this is really cool we can pause hide names etc you have to just do one thing please uh, choose one applet add it to that applet and uh, create questions or add element and then just create a class so once the class is created share the code with your students through Google Classroom or through other things so yeah that was about the first tutorial about GeoGebra so if you have any question or any concern please leave the comments or reach out to me so we can choose any applet from the search bar okay or from a one particular person yeah so I hope uh, of course you must have some questions for me if you want you can ask you can just write in the uh, in the comment box thank you